And today, more than 2,000 people gathering at Emory University to discuss mothers dying in childbirth. Georgia is consistently among the states with the highest rates of maternal mortality. 11 Alive's Grace King explains how today's symposium may help. This is really the first time Georgia health leaders, patients, and government officials have come together to talk about maternal mortality. They hope it'll spark change. At Morehouse, Mercer, and Emory, researchers are trying to keep mothers alive. People are really passionate about working on it, yet we haven't been able to change those terrible statistics. One reason could be the lack of collaboration. That's where the first ever maternal mortality symposium could help. There's so many things that we can do and this symposium is an opportunity to put all of our minds together and deliver um, actionable steps to move forward to address this. Natalie Hernandez is the founding director of the Center for Maternal Health Equity at the Morehouse School of Medicine. She led a conversation with Heather Dobbs, a doula and patient navigator. I nearly hemorrhaged to death and had to have an emergency hysterectomy because of that experience. And I learned afterwards that women who look like me are three to four times more likely to die in childbirth. Dom shared her story in hopes of empowering others to make a change. A lot of the things that are happening are pre treatable and preventable, and we really could be doing a much better job than what we're doing now. The conference also looked at results from a new public opinion survey. It shows one in 10 people who live in Georgia know someone who's died because of childbirth complications, a statistic they hope to change. In Atlanta, Grace King, 11 Live News.